I went to Miami with a DJ. I went to a party filled with beautiful black people that I should not have been at. Okay. Like I did not belong there. Mm-hmm. I took ecstasy. I got lost looking for the bathroom. I went to a room. This is like broad strokes. I went to a room. <laughs> you don't say. I went to a room with people that was like very hazy and smoky and they were playing like very grown ass music. Okay. All right. I came in and a bouncer basically approached me because I had a huge afro at the time. So everyone was like, who's the white dude with the afro wearing like a woman's kimono that just walked into this like grown and sexy black party? Yeah. I walk in and over the bouncer's shoulder I can see spooning with He's like a famed house producer. And they were spooning. They were doing an album together. No, no, they're, they're just spooning. And they're like sharing a glass of Hennessy. And I was like, oh, this is killer. So uh, that he made eye contact with me. And he was like, I know what you just saw. Like, you know what I, you know that I know that you know. So I get thrown out. Then I get thrown out of the party. Okay. I got removed. Fast forward six months later, I'm at the <laughs> junket with our mutual friend, Ben Lyons, who's interviewing. Of course. I'm in the back of the room behind publicists, agents, like hangers on hose. I'm in the back just watching. Stops the interview.